Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars, and man, I'm so excited to talk about this guitar. We just finished up that Guitar V where we went out to Idaho, and our first stop, we met up with this really cool cat who has a little repair shop out there, and we went specifically to meet him about this guitar. So, 1963 Fender Stratocaster. However, the body is made out of Carina. When I think Karina, I think Gibson Flying Vs and Gibson Explorers from, you know, 1958, 59. It's a very unusual piece of wood to see on a Fender, obviously, you know. I mean, I think there's literally, you can count on your hand how many were made. We had one other Karina Strat maybe a year ago that flew out the door. But that was the first one I ever saw. If you're a big Fender freak, you know how insanely rare that is. It's so untraditional and kind of an anomaly. Karina aside, the guitar has the coolest look. It looks like, you know, Mike McCready's 60 Strat, you know, a beat, worn down, super vibey 63. So when I first saw this, it just, it had the look, it had the feel, the weight's really nice. And of course, you know, you see all this Karina in it, which is such a beautiful wood. I'm seeing so many like Alder and Ash guitars from made by Fender. It really stuck out to me seeing that cool Karina grain in there. So you pick it up, the weight's nice. It's a, kind of a medium weight Strat. But when you play it, you can tell the difference in that Karina. It feels way different than a regular pre-CBS Strat. A really kind of cool softness to it when it's acoustic. When you plug it in, it hits everything you want on a Strat, but it has this other dimension that, you know, I completely attribute to the Karina body. If someone who wants like a really, really vibey guitar that they can you know, play the hell out of, lean it against amps or whatever. It already has the cool wear, but it's kind of like those little discrepancies in a cool old watch or car. I mean, the Karina is just, that's a cherry on top. That's so rare and, you know, make any collector blush. I mean, I don't know if we'll ever see another one of these again. That's what I said about the last one. I think there's about 10 made. I've heard there's six sunbursts and a few other, you know, blondes and whatnot, but a very small batch. So. Story with this guitar is, you know, we got it from this old cowboy in Idaho, and he came across it at a guitar show years ago. And at the time, he had a 1963 Strat that was his main guitar because 63s are, you know, really, really good years, and a lot of guys end up keeping those as their main Strat. And he saw this guitar at a guitar show, and it was totally original. However, it was coming straight from, you know, some other old school guitar guy and it had a like a switch right here, some kind of weird switch and there was a little route here and so he took the 63 off the guard he has at home, popped it right on, sold that guitar and kept this one. So there is a little additional route here, nothing major and it, it just been there forever, you know. I don't even know if the guy before that knew it was Karina. So that guy bought it at the guitar show, put the right guard on it and sold his other one. So it's complete, it's original. We could not wait for Aaron to come in and put it to the test so we could hear it to its full capability. The biggest joy was seeing Aaron's reaction to this guitar. He freaked out over this. So his excitement just reassured me how cool this was, you know. I was geeking over this the entire trip, kept on opening the case and playing it acoustically. And it was really fun to kind of share that with Aaron, hear him play it, then just have that conversation afterwards. I got two amazing vibroverbs in. So we're gonna use one of those for the demo. Big 15 inch speaker, kind of SRV style. And Aaron Hebert's gonna be playing this 63 Strat through that old Fender vibroverb and it should sound pretty good. So let's get to it. Mm -hmm. 